Merlina went to the Prometheus school of running away from things. That sin is only applicable when the character in question is being chased by an inanimate object, like a boulder or a train. Should Merlina turn, Arthur could easily make that same turn and continue chasing her. Also, subtitles and spoken dialogue do not match. This is almost word for word from a Razor's incantation. It is the same incantation. Well, it's supposed to be. It's a callback. Damn, he must have been one hungry hedgehog. Are you kidding me? Sonic the freaking hedgehog shoves a meat cylinder down his throat and that's the funniest you can come up with? Weak. That chili dog would have been sold way before you grabbed it. What do you mean? That it would have gotten dirt on it? That may have been applicable to say earlier, but assuming it didn't then, why would it be dirty now? He just threw it up into the air, away from the dirt he was kicking around. I want to get this out of the gate. This story is actually pretty good. It's not Sonic Adventure 2 good, but it sure beats the pedestrian plot of Secret Rings. Apparently being better than Secret Rings and having a pretty good story merits a sin. Why? Let me introduce myself. I am Merlina the Wizard. I guess Merlin was out of the job. That's because he's fucking dead? Also, wouldn't Merlina the Witch be a more suitable title? Uh, no. I like dragons as much as the next guy, but this intro level pales in comparison to the first levels of Adventure 1 and 2. The intro level of Adventure 2 was a spectacle to be sure, but the intro stage of Adventure 1 was Emerald Coast, the most generic of all intro stages. They may be talking about the fight with Chaos Zero, but they're very unclear about that. Being in that rock for so long has taken its toll. Ha! Not the sharpest tool in the shed, huh? I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. <sighs> That's because a gentleman shouldn't have such an edge. Yeah, tell that to Shadow. Shadow is not a gentleman. Why do flowers bloom, knowing they are destined to wither? Foreshadowing. Last time I checked, foreshadowing was a sign of good writing, not a sin. I challenge you to a duel! Scene does not contain a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Isn't that a good thing? But that's... You are being rude to the Lady of the Lake. Why you gotta be so rude? What does that have to do with anything? It's in the big cave, at the bottom of that mountain. Wait, don't tell me you're going off to slay a dragon now. Where were you when Sonic was speaking to her? After Sonic stopped running, you kind of disappeared up until this point. Because people never do anything off screen, ever. Not even walk, or listen, or be behind the guy we're focusing on. You know, the guy he was just behind, or move around. Say your prayers, you rat. Secret Rings callback. How is that a callback to Secret Rings? Because of the word rat? Eraser called Sonic a rat to mess with him, but if memory serves, he never used the term thieving rat. And if he did, why didn't you show that scene? Only death can remove this stain upon my honor. Give me a break! What's up with all this drama? Your line is, Sonic would be good at game sins. Then you give a sin, not take one away. You have shown courage, strength, and compassion. Could you seriously not find something to speed up the footage that didn't also pitch up the voices? I shall show you how to blunt the power of Excalibur. <laughs> we joke. Wrong. The original Percival was male in the legends, but here they call Blaze Sir Percival. They also use female pronouns when using that Sir tile for Blaze. It's jarring to hear them say Sir and she for the exact same person in the exact same conversation. Except Sir is actually gender neutral, especially in the military. Case in point, Roll credits. You mean song credits? Oh, yeah. Uh, what? Save the hugs and kisses for later. What? You jealous or something? <laughs> Out of all the ways you could have sent this, that was what you went with? From this day forth, you shall be Sir Sonic, Knight of the Wind. Roll song credits. What? Now, Sonic, the three sacred swords. How come Knuckles' dual blades are considered a single weapon? That always bugged me. Keep in mind that these are dual swords. Two halves of a single weapon. Don't think of them as separate, because they're not. They're just two different parts of the same whole. 
I wonder what will happen next. Oh, God damn it, Sega. Enough with these fake endings. There's no indication that these are fake credits, and why you would expect anything other than the credits after you just killed the main villain is beyond me. If you counted this sin later, I would have let it slide. To be fair, Black Knight wasn't the first game to play a credit sequence more than once. Sonic Adventure 1 and subsequent games are guilty of this as well, but that doesn't make it less annoying. Why was that another sin? You already sinned the fake credits, but somehow Adventure 1, 2, Heroes, etc. doing the same thing counts as another sin for this game? Why? So Merlina was in the castle the whole time? That abrupt transition isn't helping matters. Yes, because no one ever does anything off screen. They don't even, you know, move or go to a place that they think will help them, especially when the game established earlier that they can teleport twice. <laughs> So Arthur's scabbard is also a teleportation device? I'm asking because Sonic just materializes onto the scene. Yes, because again, no one ever does anything off screen, especially run really fast or jump like they are known to do. Just what we needed, another end of the world plot. What? But she just said, I shall make this kingdom eternal. In your own footage! We interrupt this game to bring you the Subspace Emissary from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The Subspace Emissary was awesome. I don't know what everybody's complaining about. That's not a sin, I just needed to get that off my chest. What happened? This is no doubt the effect of the as high as This game sure loves all the drug references. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're For the kingdom and its people! For the Republic! Oh, wait, wrong franchise. This sin makes no sense. I mean, neither does scene does not contain a lap dance, but you don't need to get a reference for the lap dance sin to be funny. But because there is a reference here that I'm not getting, I'm just. I. 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 I, I what the fucking fuck does that have to do with fucking anything? Okay, now I feel like a hypocrite. The last time I gave you a sin was because the viewer needed to get a reference in order for something to be funny. Now it's time I take one back. Not getting the reference in this shot doesn't take away from the video. It's also a very clever reference to Sonic Colors, so I'll take back my previous sin. So, in this scene, Danrock Pro starts pointing out a sin, but his subtitles don't appear until the last line. So, her motivation boils down to the round table and the king don't get along and the kingdom is falling apart. Let's accelerate its destruction even if it endangers thousands of lives. For God's sake, she's trying to make the kingdom last forever, not destroy it. What is wrong with you? So, Merlin did have a job, but it resulted in his demise. Of course he had a job, he was the court wizard! And if you seriously couldn't figure out that Merlina was related to Merlin in some way, then jeez. Creating a kingdom that never ends. Villain wants to create an everlasting utopia, even if it consumes reality itself, cliche. Oh, now you can hear her. Okay, look, real talk, never forget the title of these things. Everything wrong with. Was that exclamation point a Metal Gear Solid reference? I don't know. Was it something wrong within the context of the game? Not really. Would it being a reference make it wrong in some way? I don't think so. You can't just make a bunch of references and claim their sins. No! No. Yes! Finally! I've seen like four other people do the game sins thing and I swear to god you're the first one to actually do that. Sin redacted, god damn. I just gotta do what I've gotta do! That's all! Wait, what? Sonic being a danger-loving rebel was worth a sin reduction here? But five minutes ago you counted this scene at 642 as a sin! We're going to fall! Yeah! I know, isn't it great? Sonic! By the power of Sonic Adventure! Again, it's a callback, and it's good writing, especially in video games. At first, I thought his design was tacky but the supersonic factor balances it out. No sin. There is no way in fuck that the supersonic factor balances out ass cape. Foolish wizard. Don't you mean foolish witch? No! He doesn't! Merlina's not a witch! And just because you said that she should be called a witch earlier because she's a female magic user doesn't suddenly make that be the case! Witchcraft is a different thing from wizardry! Do your fucking research! 
<laughs> I truly feel this was his best performance, especially since this was his last game before Colors. I'll take off five sins. That's four. Look inside your heart. One sin removed for Crush 40. A sin is removed for the band, not the song that's playing. Granted, Crush 40 is usually awesome, a lot of the songs they perform are great, such as the majority of songs for this game, they also performed through the fire, which is, uh, kinda dumb, honestly. Oh boy, I can't wait for the next storybook game. Oh yeah, this subseries was cancelled after this. I would be sad, but the core gameplay of both titles didn't warrant a third game. Wait, if you're happy there was no third game, why did you sin it? Oh wait, because a sequel was teased and that deserves a sin. You really need to phrase these better. The True King, thank you for coming to the storybook world. Yeah, you're welcome. I can't wait to see your non-existent cameo in Sonic Colors. And when he says non-existent, he does in fact mean does not exist. I actually looked up Sonic and the Black Knight cameo in Sonic Colors and got nothing. So either I have no idea what he's talking about, googled it wrong, or he's referring to that one scene from Sonic Generations. Either way, this is worded really badly. Well, at least these guys acknowledge that the gameplay is an important part of, well, the game, unlike the three or four others I've seen do this, but was separating the gameplay and story like this really necessary? Weebalicious! Overkill with the fucking chunging! Unnecessary countdown is unnecessary! When you swing your Wii remote, the sword does these predetermined animations, unlike those sword fighting mini games from Wii Sports Resort, which came out almost half a year later with improved hardware and is therefore not a fair comparison. You waggle it repeatedly with little variation. However, I take this repetitive swordplay over the clunky controls of Secret Rings any day. The Wait, what? Why was that another sin? You've counted a single statement as two sins! Focus! The combat does offer different tricks, akin to the Soul Gauge from Secret Rings. Even with that moveset, the game doesn't do a good job encouraging you to frequently vary your strategies. I mostly use Sonic's jump attack to finish those guys off. Essentially, it's a fusion between Devil May Cry's hack and slash combat and Sonic's speed and level design, but with none of the polish of either franchise. Oh, you just did it again! Oh goody, a totally unnecessary item collecting mechanic. Necessary, no. Helpful, yes. While most of the items are just flavor, some of them can be equipped to provide passive buffs, and they themselves proceed to say this. You can use certain acquired items to upgrade your swords. And though none of that is needed to get through the game, which they also say, it is helpful, and fun, and not really deserving of a sim. The screen is pointless. Pointless. But you just said you can upgrade swords! Is that not a point? And you can equip items! Buffs! These rival fights are ridiculously easy. Percival apparently kicking your ass says otherwise. My biggest gripe of the game is how repetitive it is. You fight the same four or five enemy types throughout your adventure. This game has even less variety than its predecessor. You did it again! They did it again! I'm not the only one saying this, right? Right? It must be nearby. Something must be done about the barrier. The stone is just ahead. I like how the dialogue is different depending on who you play as. It makes these repetitive missions slightly less repetitive. What? Why did you send that? You just said it was good! But you've been taking sins off from time to time anyway. I would have let this slide if this was the only time that sins were removed, but because you've been redacting sins as normal, it almost feels like you're trying to cover your asses or something. Sinning the story was Act 1, and sinning the gameplay was Act 2, but redacting sins for these things are Act 3A and 3B? There are two scenes here where they remove sins because of the back and forths between Caliburn and Sonic, but not only would I like to bring up the in-stage back and forth at 640 again, which they sinned, but if one really did like these back and forths, which I do, then I think it only merits one sin redaction. Ha! You look just like this knucklehead I know! Okay, not only was this one-liner not nearly funny enough to merit a sin redaction, but earlier you counted that same line as a sin because it was the very line that wasn't helping Sonic's case against Gwayne. That knucklehead comment isn't doing you any favors, knucklehead. Oh man, you sound just like that knucklehead too. Uh... Also, the sin counter for this section jumps from minus 5 to minus 28. Granted, this is fixed in the very next scene, but by that time the damage is done. This game is what Secret Rings should have been. For starters, the controls don't absolutely suck. You can finally use the reliable Wii Remote and Nunchuck combo. They can you just did it again! Just now! That was one point for God's sakes! The stuff you receive aren't bogged down with endless messages. Grammar. 
I'm glad Sonic Team included these slideshows. No matter how polarizing these games get, they still appreciate the fans. I'll take off five sins, plus another, for this version of Sonic Adventure 2's It Doesn't Matter. This is the second time one of you has taken five sins off for something in this game. Granted, the first time there was a miscount and only four were removed, this one only deserves four as well. One for each art showcase, and one for the remix. While the other knights don't differ that much from Sonic, it's still cool we get to play them. It is not. <laughs> this brings back memories, except last time I was with A Sonic Adventure 2 callback? One sin removed. Wait, an Adventure 1 or Secret Rings callback is a sin, but an Adventure 2 callback is a redaction? Go fuck yourselves! Where do I begin? The armor design is cool? No it isn't! The fact that the Sin Removal Act just so happened to remove the exact same number as the gameplay sins strikes me as a little suspicious. I may be wrong, and it may just be a coincidence, so for that reason I'm not giving this a sin, but still, my point remains. shall be your grave. This place shall be your grave. I know that at least one of you needs to have played through the game at least once before you did this video. You even showed that scene where Gwen says that earlier in the video. Is actually decent for once, so that counts for something. Minus one sin. Even front man used the reliable Wii Remote and Nunchuck combo. While not great by any metric, it's better than the constant stop and go nature of Secret Rings. The stuff you receive aren't bogged down with endless messages. They dump all of it right there. And that's really cool. While the Soul Gauge and Secret Rings had its cool moments, Black Knight is a moderate improvement for an otherwise funky system. The moderate improvement. The moderate improvement. <laughs> Thank goodness this mission isn't as bad as the Egg mission from Secret Rings. All in all, Black Knight is almost a decent game. At least this subseries ended on a high note, and that note deserves one sin removed.